Okay, so welcome back to the channel and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a cupcake with a lot of frosting and some sprinkles. Now this result here is one that I did yesterday and I'm going to be covering it today. I'm going to try my best to make what you see here. I might do the materials a little bit differently but the main idea here is to show you guys how to make the little um, tray. In fact, I'll show you the blend file here. We're going to show you how to make the little uh, cup tray over here for the cupcake. We're going to make a muffin real easy, very basic sculpting. And then we're going to make um, this ice cream bit here, the cone or the you know spiral thing. We're going to make that with a curve and a very simple profile object. And then we'll just scatter some of these little um, stars on it with a super simple particle system. I would say this is pretty beginner friendly. Is it the most realistic cupcake? Of course not. But I think for the amount of time that we're going to put into it, I think it yields a pretty nice result. So if you want to learn how to make this, keep watching the tutorial. I'm going to go step by step. And uh, I will be uploading my file to Patreon as well. And by the way, if you guys want to check out Skillshare, you can look in the description below. I do have a link that will give you free access to that for a certain amount of time. And on my Skillshare, I have a lot of really cool Blender courses as well. So you might want to check that out. So um, let's just jump in and I hope you guys enjoy. So let's jump inside of Blender. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all the objects and just press delete. We're going to go shift a under our mesh options let's add in a circle and let's tab in here and with everything active we're going to right click and go subdivide and now you can see we have doubled the amount of verts what we're going to do is we're going to press f3 on the keyboard and over here we're going to type in checker and we're going to go checker deselect and it's going to select every second one we're then going to go s and that's going to allow us to scale we're going to scale in about this much we're going to press A to select everything, go into our front view, and we're going to go E to extrude, and Z, and we're going to extrude it up, let's go about this much, and we're going to go S to scale, and this is going to be our cupcake tray. And then we're going to come down here again, shift alt, left click, and just select this bottom row of verts, and we're going to go F to fill it, and then we're going to go I to inset it, and let's inset it about this much. And let's go G, Z, just move it up a little bit. And then go I to inset it again. And uh, let's just leave it at that. We're going to now deselect that. Shift, Alt, left click on the top. E to extrude, S to scale. And then let's just lift it up a little bit. Since most cupcakes have a little bit of a rim towards the top, like so. It's looking a little bit sharp. So what we might do, if everything active here, we're going to go Shift, Alt, and S. And just smooth it out a little bit. And let's go shift alt click on here shift alt s and let's just smooth it out a little bit you don't have to do that but i think that might just be a little bit better okay something like that so now we're going to go over to our modifiers in object mode and let's give this a bevel modifier and what we're going to do is we're going to bring this amount way down like so and increase the segment count and we're going to right click and go shade smooth and let's also give this a solidify and make sure to uh, make it very small, like that. So now it has a bit of thickness. So now we have our tray. And with that done, let's make the muffin. So that's going to be Shift A. Uh, let's go add in a UV sphere. G, Z, move it up. And let's go S to scale it. S, Z to flatten it. And let's uh, go Control A, just apply that scale. Tab into edit mode. And inside of wireframe, let's select these bottom bits and go X and delete the face and let's select this bottom row of verts E to extrude and Z bring it down S to scale and then F just to fill it in like so and then what we're going to do we're going to actually um, just scale it maybe just a bit smaller what we're going to do we're going to tab back out and we're going to go in to our sculpting workspace with this active and what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our active tool settings let's go down to dynamic topology go ok and let's make the detail here 4 and let's leave it at relative detail and enable um, smooth shading and what we're going to do here we're going to get our clay strips brush and we're just going to come here and we're just going to make these random kind of like swirly patterns around the ends here like so and then we're going to come in here and just do the same thing just to make the surface as uneven as possible like that we really don't have to do too much more keep it simple let's go back into our layout and then we're going to go over to our 
modifiers, let's give this a displace. Let's go over to our textures properties, go new, and let's make this clouds. Let's go back to our modifier and let's bring the strength way down. And uh, if you turn it off, you can kind of not see a lot of difference. Maybe turn that strength up a bit. Um, but the thing we really want here is the smaller details. Let's just go back to our texture and let's just come here to the size. And uh, let's decrease it. Let's go really small. So we have low detail. Let's go back and then decrease it again. So just something like that. So now we have some nice texture to our muffin. You can mess around with this as much as you want. I'm gonna go something like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the icing on top. So we're gonna go Shift A. Let's add in a curve. Let's go with a circle. G, Z, let's bring that curve up, place it here. Tab into edit mode and then just select everything and delete it. Let's delete these verts. So we're still in edit mode. We've deleted these verts, but we have this origin point here. So we still have technically a Bezier object here. So we're just gonna come here to the draw tool. And because we're working with a curve, let's go to our top orthographic view by pressing seven on the number pad. And now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna come here and we're gonna paint kind of like a swirling pattern like this, working our way towards the middle and then coming around. So now we have that. And it's kind of painted it here towards the bottom. So I'm just gonna to go to the move tool select everything and just drag it up to the top like so. And let's then just click on this middle vertex or this middle handle over here. So you can see this is our curve, but we just want this middle handle selected. I don't know how well you can see this. So if you tab out of um, edit mode into object mode, you can kind of see the swirl a little bit better, but we want to select this middle handle and we're going to enable our proportional editing and we're going to go G, Z and just move it up rolling our middle mouse wheel to control the fall off. And let's bring it up about that much. So now you can see this is what we have. We're gonna tab back out. And let's go over to our object data properties for the curve. And uh, let's give it a, under the geometry, let's give it a bevel object. So we're gonna go Shift A. Let's just quickly add in a, in fact, let's just go to our mesh instead. Let's go to our mesh option. Let's add in a circle. And let's come over here and just make it 12 segments. So I'm gonna type in 12 verts. And I'm gonna go G, Y, and move it over to the side, tab back in. And then with all of this active, we're gonna press F3 and let's type in checker deselect. In this case, I still have it active here. So I'm just gonna, it's still here in the buffer. So I'm just gonna click on it. And I'm gonna go S and I'm gonna roll my middle mouse button down. In fact, we don't really need proportional editing at the moment. So we're just scaling this in to make a star. Select everything and then go Control Shift B. Control Shift B and that's gonna bevel and then you roll your middle mouse button just once to add in some segments. And now it's smoothed out. We're gonna tab back out, F3, and we're gonna type in convert. We're gonna to convert to a curve. Now we can select this guy over here. We can go over to taper object, click on a little eyedropper, and then select this. Now it should work. Um, we might have to make, instead of having it round here, we might have to make it object and click on a little object here instead and then click on that. Okay, so that's what we do. Under the bevel, just select object and then select the object here with the eyedropper and that's the object. So now all we have to do is select this, tab into edit mode, and we can scale it down to whatever we want. And there we have it. Tab back out. And now we can select this guy here, tab back into edit mode. We still have the curve here. Um, you can select these individual little handles, enable proportional editing and you can still move things around. Um, this is completely up to you. Since I'm doing a tutorial, I'm not gonna mess around with it too much at this point. Just mess around with things a little bit till you like it a little bit more, but this is what I'm gonna be going with um, for now. What we could also do is just go over to the bevel and just go fill, um, enable the fill caps option here. Let's tab back out. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go F3 and back in object mode, of course, and I'm just gonna type in here convert. And I'm gonna go this time to convert to mesh. And now this is a mesh object. And what we can do as well, we can go and give it a subdivision surface modifier. Just move it out a little bit more. So now here we have this so far. We have our cupcake tray over here. We have the actual cupcake inside, the muffin bit, the kind of baked part of it. And now we have this nice topping on top as well. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add sprinkles to this. 
with a particle system. But first of all, we need some sprinkles. So let's just reuse this little guy here. But tab back into edit mode. In fact, let's just tab back out. Let's just hit F3 and let's convert that to a mesh. So type in convert and then go mesh. Tab back in. Now go A to select all of this, F to fill it, and then E to extrude and just extrude it up like so. Now we have a little sprinkle. Now we're going to select our ice cream bit here or our frosting. Go to particle settings. Let's give that a plus. Let's make it hair. And let's go down to the render and let's go over to render as. Let's make it an object. Let's come here to the instance object. Let's click on the eyedropper and select that little star. And now we have that as a sprinkle. Obviously, we want to go over to our under our render here. We want to take the scale, maybe make it a bit bigger, but also take the random scale here up so they're not all the exact same size. Um, but something like this looks okay. And another thing is we want to go to the rotation. So let's click on advanced. Let's enable rotation. And let's go to randomize the rotation here or up here. Yeah, randomize. With this slider, let's maybe change the phase a little bit. Let's just change it here to normal and then try that. Okay, so change it to normal under the orientation and then mess around with these sliders here, mess around with the phase a little bit. But we want sprinkles, that's the main thing. I might make them a little bit bigger. Okay, that's looking good. And now that we have everything modeled, let's just quickly add in a floor. So we're going to go Shift A, add in a plane, S to scale it up tab in and let's just select this back face and extrude it up and I'm going to select this edge and go control B to bevel and I'm going to roll the middle mouse button. Maybe I'll just move the whole thing more back in the scene. Tab back out, right click and go shade smooth and then in our front view we're just going to go shift A, let's add in a camera. I'm going to move mine up and move it back. I'm going to go to my output and make it 1920 at the bottom as well for a nice square aspect ratio and I'm going to go to my camera settings and make it 90 on the focal length and then I'm going to go to my camera and just move it back a little bit and there it is so you guys can pose your camera however you want I'm just going to take this little star move it over to the side but here we can now see we have our cupcake and it's up to you to pose it however you want so that's what I'm happy with at the moment. So I'm gonna to go to my render settings now. I'm gonna make it um, cycles instead of EV. If you have a GPU, make sure to enable it. And under your render, let's make that, I'm gonna go with 50 for now. And let's go control B and just drag over our camera to limit the rendering to our camera. And let's now go over to our world properties, color, and let's give this a sky texture. Let's come to the strength and make it 0.7. And now we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna to go to our light, add in an area light, G, Z, move it up, go to your light settings, make it 200, and then increase the size to three meters. And now if you go Z and you go rendered, you're gonna see this. Um, what we might be able to do as well is just duplicate this light a few more times maybe two more times just to have a few more pointing in. And that's looking about right. So now we're gonna go into our shading workspace. We're gonna go into our camera view. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our star here, our little um, sprinkle object. I'm gonna give it a material. And let's just call it sprinkle. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this base color and we're gonna type in random and we're gonna to go to geometry, random over here. So that's under the object info node. And then if we go shift A, search and type in color, we can grab a color ramp and place it here. And let's drag these two values closer. And then you can pick whatever colors you want. So I'm gonna go with blue. And over here, I might go with a different type of blue or kind of purplish blue. Now you can see we have this random color to the sprinkles. I'm gonna select the ice cream bit and I'm gonna go new. And what I'm gonna do is leave it white, but I'm gonna come here to the roughness and bring it down. And this is not necessarily a very realistic ice cream material, um, but you could add textures to it and um, a little bit of subsurface scattering and things like that. But that's what I'm gonna leave it at. Then we're gonna select the actual muffin bit. We're gonna go new. 
Let's just call that um, cake, because it's technically the cake. And let's grab this base color here and drag it and type in noise. Let's get a noise texture. And let's drag the vector here and let's just type in texture coordinate and get a texture coordinate. We're going to plug it from the object into the vector actually, like so. And then over here, we're going to go shift a search and get a color ramp. Place it over here and I'm going to drag this value here and this value in here. And this one, we're going to make kind of like a creamish, yellowish, orangey kind of color. And this one here, we're going to make the same almost, but a little bit darker like that. And then we're going to come over here, increase the roughness and also just a detail amount. And now we have kind of like a muffin material. If you now go Z and you go rendered, you should see this is what we have. We're now going to select the actual cupcake tray, go new. And for mine, I just made mine bluish kind of color like that. And now let's select our background object. Let's go new. Let's drag the base color. Let's just type in checker and get a checker texture. We're going to tab into edit mode and with everything active, just go U and unwrap. Tab back out. And now if you go to camera view and you go Z and you go rendered, you can come over here to the scale and adjust it like so. You may have to grab the vector and just type in texture coordinate and go for texture coordinate UV. And now that should map better. Okay, so that is all that in place. I might make the background a little bit darker with the checker here. And then what we're going to do, we're going to select the actual camera. And let's go into our camera settings. Let's select depth of field and click on the muffin tray over here as a focus object. Let's bring down this f stop. So now the background should be much softer as well. I might go to my world light and just make it 0.4 instead and then just ramp up the strength of my lights here a little bit and i think that's looking quite good so let's quickly save and let's go render and just give this a test render and there we have it this is how to make a cupcake in blender i really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you liked it definitely check out the patreon in the description below where i'll be uploading this model and i do appreciate all of the subscriptions and likes you can also check out some of my other content and i also make stuff on skillshare so that's all in the description below and i'll see you guys next time